Hello and welcome to the skating lesson. I'm Jennifer Kirk. And I'm Dave Lees. So today we are, <laughs> we're both so excited. We're gonna be filming with Nathan Chen. I'm pretty excited because we've had obviously Spicy Nam on a couple months ago, and they've always been grouped together, kind of like Sasha and Naomi, Jenny Kirk and Deanna Stilato. Ma'am and Nathan. So I'm pretty excited about this. And they yes. both have end names too, yes. They both and have. they've been posting these dueling quad videos on Instagram. It's all about this social media. We love it. And just this summer, we're seeing both of them do the quad toes. We've seen Nan do the quad south. So we want to ask Nathan about that. His Michael Jackson program last year, I fell in love. I think so many of us fell in love with his personality. Will he be keeping it this season? How has training been going? And he's been plagued with injuries the past few years. We want to see how his body is feeling heading into this upcoming season. Yeah, I remember Nathan back when we used to see him in the Nationals showcase skating Peter and the Wolf. And then yes, he didn't even like reach the boards. Do you remember that? Didn't even reach the boards, but every year he made sure that he was in that showcase. So I think we love him forever. We need to be on top of our lives as Nathan Chen is. So we hope that you're as excited for this interview as we are. Yeah. Well, Nathan, welcome to the skating lesson. We're so excited to have you. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, we haven't seen that much of you the last few months, but then lately you've popped up on Instagram and it has been quad, 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 triples all around. So how has training been going? Training has been going good. I've kind of been plagued with injuries these past few seasons and I'm still kind of dealing with one right now. Um, I've been having like a little bit of, basically all my injuries over the past few seasons have been like growth related. So basically as soon as I'm done growing, hopefully all of these will go away. But as of right now, I'm kind of dealing with a little bit of shoulder injury. So walk us through your injuries, what you've had the past couple of years. When are you going to stop growing? Have they tested your growth plates at the doctor? How on top of this are you? Okay, so basically everything started with Osgood Schlatter's, which is in my knees. And then it kind of transferred down into my heels. And that was during last season. And then it went up into like my hips and my backs a little bit. And then now it's up to my shoulder. And I probably will be done growing within the next two, three years, hopefully. Like that's kind of the targeted range right now. What right, sort of treat track. yeah, what sort of treatment are you doing for your shoulder? I mean, how does that affect you when you pull in on jumps and whatnot? So basically it is sort of overuse. Every time that I rotate, that is kind of what irritates the area. And I've just been doing a lot of PT and it's been helping so much. So that's been good. We hope it stays okay throughout this season. <laughs> now we've seen Spicy Nam from Canada. He's been posting yeah. quads as well. We've seen quad yeah. and quad sow. So it seems like you two are in a little race. Have you been working on the quad sow as well? Um quad sow is kind of like the jump that I just like, I'll work on if I feel good. If I don't, then I'll just kind of lay it back. But quad toe is something that I'm trying to get consistent and same with my triple axel. Well, it looks fantastic. So respect. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. So when the Grand Prix assignments came out, we didn't see your name on the list. We immediately texted Doug Rosano asking what's going on because he's very connected. Um, yeah. So are you going to be staying junior this year? Or are you going senior? There's be. that. You're going senior or junior? I'll be, continue I'll be staying junior. Junior Grand Prix, but obviously no. senior. No, why did you decide to continue Junior Grand Prix? Um, well, first off, be, based off of my results from last year, um, I didn't gain enough points for two Senior Grand Prix's. So I mm -hmm. felt like we, like, uh, our, my whole team decided that, like, it's probably the smartest decision for me to just stay as a junior and just, like, fulfill what I need to do as a junior. And then when I start maturing more, then I can go up to Senior. And hopefully that'll happen by next season. Okay. So you'll be doing the quad at the Junior Grand Prix? I will be. Yeah, that's the plan. Good. Well, we loved your Michael Jackson short program last season. Nice. It brought out a new side to your personality. So will you <laughs> yeah. be keeping that for this season? I will be. Yeah, uh, I'll be keeping that the whole season. Perfect. Now, we've seen character-driven pieces by you in the past at Nationals. The audience really gets into it. What is it about this program that you love so much, and how did you come up with the idea for it? Um, so basically, this, is, this was choreographed by my coach's assistant, Nadia Kaneva, and she basically wanted me to like branch out artistically and uh, she just she was looking at a whole bunch of different pieces from like Beatles to um, Queen to Michael Jackson, and then we kind of decided maybe this is Michael Jackson's so new to me, like it's some something totally different, and so we just decided like maybe this is a good step for me. And she just decided she just put something like a little piece together just to see how it looked, and she thought it fit me pretty well, so that she she was like, okay, well let's keep on going and like um, add on to this, and so it kind of just became a thing. So is that something, I was going to say, the personality, because you seem very, like, reserved and focused. We see a lot of, like, piano, yeah. long programs. So are you somebody, do you dance around to music in front of the mirror when you get out of the shower? I mean, this part of your personality, how did she know that this music would work for you? Um, I am always just reserved. Like, that's just kind of my personality. And I am really uncomfortable doing this kind of program. So even last year, my Chattanooga, Chattanooga Choo Choo program was kind of 
was a little bit difficult for me to come out because like I'm just not that's just not my style. So like, but um, she just she just totally wanted me to get out of my little shell and like out of my comfort zone and do something totally different. And I guess she just nailed it. Yeah, it works for you. Was it horrifying yeah. practicing it at first? Because I cause you at can't first go I was like halfway oh. with my uh, yeah like and you go yeah all the moonwalk you got to go all the way. I mean, how embarrassed <laughs> yeah. were you? I mean, at the beginning, I was like, oh, what, what am I doing? This is kind of uncomfortable. But, like, I, like the movement felt good. So, like, I was like, hmm, maybe I can just, like, do it bigger, do it stronger, and, like, it'll start looking okay. So, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm really comfortable with the program now, and I really enjoy performing it. Well, we, many skaters either struggle with the quad or the triple axle. So we want to know which has been harder for you. Triple axle has, like, always been my ne nemesis for the past four years. Like, I landed it when I was 12, and... Like, I've been struggling with it on and off, like, these past four years. So, triple axle is definitely the one that's... What is it about the axle, do you think, that makes it harder for you than the quad? The quad is just all about power, honestly. Like, if you just put yourself in the right position, you can just you just put your power in and it happens. But with the triple axle, like, there's so much finesse and, like, you just have to do exactly the correct technique. And, it, like, that's just not really, like, I'm just, I'm always so used to just forcing it and putting all my power into the jump. And then that just doesn't happen on the triple axle. To kind of let it happen. Yeah. Well, what do you know how competitive you are? Because speaking about the triple axle, at Boston Nationals, I was sitting at one end of the ice, and you took a fall in your long program, yeah. like hard, like sm ice smacking. Yeah, like, yeah. It, there was this thud, a sound. Yeah. You got up, went to the other side of the rink, and then nailed it, another one. So how yeah. competitive are you in competition? Um, well, I mean, I had already planned two triple axles in that program. And basically, when I plan something, I'll do it in competition, no matter what happens. And I mean, after, after that first triple axle, like, that kind of, like every time that I fall during any practices or anything, it kind of like makes me, it, like it pulls me down a little bit. So like I took a little bit of time to breathe and like I really just got everything together and like thought about what I did wrong and just tried to fix it in the next axle. Well, you're coached by Raphael and he always seems very focused and kind of determined when we see him in the kiss and cry. What is he like <laughs> yeah. as a coach? What is it like training with him every day? Um, initially when I went to him, I thought that he was like a really scary, like tough Russian guy, but yeah. like he's really he is he has his moments where he is pretty tough he is a very tough guy but he is very like thoughtful and respectful to me and he's helped me a ton over the past few years well this past season at nationals after the short program we were surprised that you skated the long program we actually on twitter somebody had reported that you had withdrawn and then we saw you out on the ice what happened exactly in terms of your injury and what played into your decision to compete the long program and just how difficult was that for you so nationals was pretty rough for me. So like I had this injury going on. Probably I was fine two weeks going into nationals. The last week of nationals, it just came out of nowhere, and it was like extreme, like really bad. And I, I wasn't really sure if I was gonna, even going to go to nationals in the first place. But like, I this was my first senior nationals. I really wanted to experience it, like regardless of what happened. So I went to go, and then before the short program, the doctors at uh, at nationals they gave me a shot to help. Um, or they gave me some pills to help with the pain, and I think there was like, it was a little bit of an overdose, so it gave me some really, really bad like sickness, like reactions, and I was, yeah. like, I was just in bed the whole day before the short program, couldn't get out at all, I missed my 20 minute warm up, I missed everything, and then I was just like, but I mean, I already knew that I got this far, I might as well just continue on with it, so I went to the rink for the six minute warm up and just like, tried to do as best as I could, and I mean, I, based off of what I, of like, what my situation was, I thought I did pretty well, and then... Going, to, I had a few days in between, in between the short and the long, and um, the the overdose of the of the medicines kind of wore off a little bit, and so they gave me a different medication, which helped me but got me really weak, and that was like really rough. So that's a big portion of the reason why I didn't, I wasn't really sure if I wanted to go uh, compete the long, but I mean, of course, I already went this far, and I really wanted to experience what it was like as a senior. I just decided to just try the best that I could. Remember Raphael telling you you were a man now afterwards. Yeah. That was one of the moments of the season. Yes. <laughs> Graduated, <laughs> yes. Yeah. So yeah. we saw you struggle in the short at Junior Worlds, but then you came back in the free skate and really moved up a lot of places. And Junior Worlds hasn't always been your best event. So what was this year's experience like coming off of such a rough Nationals? Um, af even after Nationals, I still had this injury going on, and I took a, like a month off, and uh, it started to get better. And then I got back on the ice, and it's like the pain came back immediately, and I couldn't really do anything until like the very last week before Junior Worlds, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, this is Nationals <laughs> all over again. What is this?" So I like, but I was just like, I mean, I'm I, sh I I still need to like go to Junior Worlds and still represent USA, 
And so, and I, I, I like, at that point, I, I already knew I could do everything. I just need to get, like, I just need to get really mentally focused for the event. And obviously going, going into the event, I was a little bit worried because I hadn't trained to the extent that I wanted to train. And I was, I was just concerned that like, I wouldn't be able to do, I wouldn't be able to get through my programs. But like when I was at, uh, when I was at uh, Bulgaria doing my, or sorry, when I was at Junior Worlds doing my programs, I just, I felt, I felt pretty good and I was able to land everything. And then going to the short program, like I would just like, it suddenly hit me and I was like really nervous before the event. And I went to the axle and I was like ridiculously cautious and I missed that. And then um, I was like, come on, like, don't do this again. And so I just, I pushed through the rest of the program. And then for the long program, I really like focus before the event and try to put, like, just forget about everything that's like, I just do as best as I can. And so the long went a lot better than I, would, than the short program, obviously. How has the Axel been going since then? The Axel has been, it's going a lot better, actually. Like, it was, it has been a little bit on and off lately, but it has, it's been, I've been hitting a lot more than, than um, before. Well, early in your career, videos emerged of you and Nam. I guess that's when you were intermediate or novice. At the same time, people have been comparing you your entire careers on skating message boards and everything like that. Is this something you've been aware of? Um, not exactly. Like I try not to. I try to pull myself away from that and try to stay in my own world as much as I can. And I mean, Nam is a great competitor. He's a great skater. Yeah. Like he's he's very strong. So like, um, but I mean, honestly, I try to keep myself away from that and like not pay attention too much about that. Do you think you're spicier than he is? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. He's a pretty. He's pretty spicy. Okay, <laughs> call it a tie. I'll we'll just yeah, see this season what programs he comes up with. Yeah. Well, one of Jenny's favorite things about you is that she went on your Wikipedia. I forget why she was going on, but she wanted to look something up, and she said it was the most organized Wikipedia page that she had ever seen in her life. So I she mean, wanted respect, to that, honey. Respect. She's like. It was, were you updating it? Was your mother updating it? Who is in charge? Who has updated this Wikipedia? It's so good. It? <laughs> <laughs> um, honestly, like, I haven't really been doing very much to it, but I think it was mostly, like, my parents. I mean, so. they did a very good job. <laughs> yeah, I would like yeah. them to do mine. There are some in inaccuracies on mine. I don't even know, like, yeah. people could update it. This is very Yeah. We need to find this out. Resume writing, anything. Yes. <laughs> and they could have a business. It was very good. Yeah. So prior to Raphael, you worked with Evgenia Chernosova. So how good is your skating Russian? Um, wait, sorry, could you say that again? I mean, are you good at understanding Russian phrases in, skate, in like, skating terminology? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, not, not too much, because most of the time they do, like just when they get really angry, they'll probably speak in a little bit of Russian. And obviously <laughs> I don't really know what they're talking about, but I just, I don't know. But most of the time they speak in English and like all the, everything is just, it's basically everything's in English. English. Well, Russian coaches are known for their love of deep edges and power. So how much time do you guys work on skating skills? How much of a, ooh, a focus is that? Um, so Raf is mostly on jumps. He mostly focuses on jumps and just as an overall package to see how I look. And then Nadia, my, his assistant, is like the one that really like hones in my edges and really like works on that stuff. So she's been working with me for these past four years. And like I've improved, I have to say, I've improved a lot with her. And she's like, she's incredibly helpful. And she's she just basically like, works every day with me for like up to up to two hours or wow. on is just it, like edges and stuff. Is it drills that she gives you or does she take she sections of your program? She, yeah, she starts with drills, she does warm up, she does like certain jump exercises and then she'll do um, work on program sections and then she'll just run the whole thing and stuff like that. Well, you're also known for previously studying ballet. How important was that training? It comes out so much in your skating and how has that helped you? Ballet has helped me so much, honestly. Um, I'm not like... I don't know if I would be, I was able to be this artistic without ballet. So like I started ballet when I was really young and also my sisters were doing ballet at the time. So we all just like messed around in the house, did ballet and stuff like that. And like it, it has helped me a lot artistically. Is it harder than skating or skating? Um, skating is probably yeah. still harder. <laughs> I think that way too. <laughs> well, you train with two of our favorite personalities to discuss, Adam Rapon yes. and Diva <laughs> Wagner. <laughs> So we want to yeah. discuss, how would you discuss their personalities and training styles on the ice? Um, they're both like incredibly hard workers. Um, like we all share a locker room. Like I'm not, I can't say that we're incredibly close, but like they're just really fun to have around and they're, Adam and Ashley are like really good, um, like just training partners. Pushes you. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Well, they definitely have new hairstyles for summer. <laughs> <laughs> so what was the reaction when we first saw these in the ring? Did Raphael like this? Is he someone that cares about that sort of thing? I mean, 
personally, I think that Rock will obviously notice them and he, he <laughs> talked to them. It's about hard them. not to. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But I, I mean, I think he was okay with that, and everybody was like, "Wow, actually, this they actually look pretty good." <laughs> so like, I don't think ever, anyone really like. Like gave them any shade about that? <laughs> no, no, no Just us. Just us. <laughs> Has Adam ever tried to like give you some hair tips, style tips? Not really. I'm def I could ask him. <laughs> he could throw some good stuff for me. Some good stuff. Well, on a serious note, as we look ahead to the 2015-2016 season, what are your goals? Do you have concrete goals at this time? When is your first competition? What can you tell us about what you want to accomplish this season? Yeah, so I just finished Broadmoor, and I mean, based off like the first competition of the season. I thought I did, like that was pretty expected and I think I did pretty well there. Um, this season I definitely want to stay healthy and not have these like, um, I don't know, I just want to stay healthy throughout the whole season and be able to actually perform what I, what I should be and I'm capable of doing. So I haven't, yeah, I haven't set any like major concrete goals yet, but I mean, they will come. Okay, will you be it. doing the quad triple and the short every competition or have you set any goals like that element wise? Um, I'll do. I'll definitely be doing quad, but I think I'm going to put the triple toe at the end of my program for the extra bonus points. Oh. Very good. <laughs> we like that. So we want to know more about you. What do you like to do for fun in California? We want to know. Jenny and I want to be young. What are the kids into? <laughs> yeah, like what, what do we need to get into? What's the new yeah. phrase? What's the hot? <laughs> <laughs> I've been homeschooling for too long now. I'm totally out of that. Like, okay. I, I wish I could help, but I. I can't really do very much now, but do like you homeschool year round. Do you get the summer? I do. Office? Yeah, this is my second year homeschooling, so okay. It's just yeah, it's just yeah. I have summer break off though, so it's not year round. It's just uh, oh, school. okay. Has it been hard since going from you know regular school to homeschool to motivate yourself to do it, or are you just somebody who has that internal motivation? I mean, I definitely prefer public school a lot more than homeschooling, just because like when you have a social, you have a social life. You can talk to friends. You have like stuff. To, you have other stuff to think about with like uh, homeschool. Everything just like. It's skating so school. personal, yeah, yeah. Just skating school, exactly. Yeah, so I definitely prefer that. But I mean, it. I mean, this is all that I can do right now, so mm -hmm. it, it's perfect. It works. What do you like to do off the ice? Um, I love going to the beach. Love walking on the beach. Um, I'm I live fairly close to the beach, so I can like bike to the beach and like just walk around and stuff. I also like to play guitar and I like to listen to music. Obviously, like figure things out. What are your feelings about Yogurt Land? Your gland is amazing. Amazing, but I right? I can't go too many times, though, obviously. Do you know I just got my platinum card? Yeah. <laughs> my platinum oh my status. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yogurt land's awesome. I love it. Okay. Do you do In N Out Burger? I... I've gone a few times, but like, it's pretty greasy. Yeah. So but is In N Out Burger old? Because I don't live in LA. So is In N Out Burger like last year and now we're into yogurt land? Like, what is In N Out is like 10 years ago, Dave. In -N yeah, In N Out yeah, is like pretty you... old. But I mean, it's like, it's pretty traditional. So everyone, like, as soon as you visit California, you have to try In N Out. Yeah. It's, like, yeah. it's very good. good. It's, it is good. I like but it. But it's, it's, you know, fast food. It's not yeah. training yeah. food. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, well, Nathan, we wish you the best of luck this season. Thank you for coming okay. on the skating lesson. And we're going to visit with you throughout the year. We want to have you continue to send us videos, training videos, because you're just skating so mm -hmm. well. And we can't wait to see your new programs. What can you tell us about any of the competitions coming up? Will you be doing anything here in California in the next few I'm weeks? I'm actually doing Glacier Falls this week, next weekend. So. Oh, I will be there. Cool. Oh, yeah. I will so come watch. I will be completing that, yep. Perfect. Well, we'll look forward to seeing you compete there. And thank you Thanks. for coming on the skating lesson. Thank you. Yeah.